There were 80 bombings in the Youngstown area between 1953 and 1963. Among them was the notorious Cavallero bombing of November 1962. Tonight, 61 years after the explosion, the lone survivor, Charlie Cavallero Jr., shares, in his own words, for the first time, what happened that day and in the years after. I can remember just regular morning having breakfast. And Charlie Cavallero Jr. is now 73 and lives in St. Charles, Missouri, near St. Louis, where I interviewed him a week ago as Cavallero was also being interviewed by WKBM producer Johnny Ciccatelli, the producer of Youngstown Mob Talk, who's hosting a November 10th presentation at Stanbaugh Auditorium called Calf Bomb. But 61 years ago, on November 23, 1962, then 12-year-old Charlie Cavallero was lying on a stretcher after a bomb exploded in the car he was getting into that was parked in the family's garage. I ran back into the house to get something, and my father and brother were getting into the car. When I got back into the garage, I got the car door open and was about to get in, and that's when he turned the key. This was WKBN news footage from that day. The turning of the key ignited a bomb planted in the family car, a 1956 Ford Fairlane. The bomb was meant for Charlie's father, mob figure Charlie Cadillac Cavallero Sr., who was killed. Also killed was his son, 11-year-old Tommy Cavallero. Instead of his father taking him to play football, Charlie Cavallero was headed to the hospital. After the explosion, I can remember uh, the fireman digging me out and talking to me and asking me if I liked football and what was my name and how am I doing. And then I think I passed out again, uh, woke up for a brief period in the ambulance and they were talking to me. I don't remember what they were saying. And then I think the next thing I can remember was maybe a day or so later waking up in the hospital. His injuries were serious. My hip was blown out. I uh, had two fingers severed. I had the a lot of cuts in my, on my head and face and uh, my legs. Charlie Jr. spent a few months at St. Elizabeth Hospital. Doctors thought he would never walk, but he had a hip replacement, unheard of in 1962, and he walked again, though two other hip replacements have been needed since. Today, he walks with a cane, the repercussions of the bombing having followed him throughout his life. Yep, you know, my entire life, yeah. <laughs> Even after the bombing, Charlie and what was left of his family continued to live at the house at 164 Rosalind Drive on Youngstown's north side. In fact, the house would remain in the family for 59 years, having been sold just two years ago. At the end of the driveway, there was a detached garage, and that's where the car was parked when it blew up. The garage was never rebuilt. Charlie would graduate from Rayan High School, and even though the house on Rosalind became known as the Mob House, he was never known as the kid hurt by the bomb. I don't even think anybody associated, associated me with that. Um, never had any questions about it. You know, you know, kids, kids back in the in the '60s, it was just you know, you didn't you didn't think about stuff like that. Charlie Cavallero would stay around Youngstown until 1999 when he left for a job in Missouri where he's lived ever since. No one has ever been arrested for the bombing. In fact, Cavallero says he only thinks about it when someone asks. He also does not blame his father for what happened. There's no animosity. My father was the best father to me he could be. He was great to my mother. He was great to all of us kids. He was a, a really, as far as the, the life he had outside of uh, being in the, uh, the mafia, he was a great person. People loved him, enjoyed talking to him. This was the first time Charlie Cavallero has talked at length about the bombing and his life afterwards. So I ended with the question of why go public with it now? I think it's a good time. I think uh, it's, it's, there's historical value. It's something that probably shouldn't be forgotten. On November 10th at Youngstown Stambaugh Auditorium, Youngstown Mob Talk will present Cav Bomb, at which they will present their theory of who is responsible for the Cavallero bombing. Charlie Cavallero Jr. will be there in person. It starts at 7 p.m. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.